Hey there folks, welcome to another exciting episode where we explore the wonders of gardening. Today, we're diving into something truly revolutionary. Mike Rowe here, ready to get our hands dirty, or should I say clean, with a fascinating way to grow plants hydroponics. This method is changing the way we think about gardening. Now you might be wondering, hydro, what? Simply put, it's growing plants without soil. Instead of using traditional dirt, we use a water-based solution. Yeah, you heard that right. Instead of dirt, we're talking about using water enriched with nutrients to grow your favorite fruits, veggies, and herbs. Imagine a garden where you don't have to worry about weeding or soil-borne diseases. Now I know what you're thinking. Plants need soil, right? It's a common belief, but let's dig a little deeper into the science behind it. Well, not exactly. See, plants don't actually eat soil. What they need are the nutrients found within the soil. These nutrients are essential for their growth and development. They need the nutrients in the soil. In a traditional garden, plants extract these nutrients from the soil through their roots. And in hydroponics, we're delivering those nutrients directly to the roots through the water. This method ensures that plants get exactly what they need when they need it. It's like giving your plants a direct line to a buffet of all the good stuff they need to thrive. No more guesswork, just healthy, vibrant plants. Setting up a hydroponic system might seem daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple. All you need is a container, water, and the right mix of nutrients. Light is also crucial. In a hydroponic setup, you can use LED grow lights to ensure your plants get the right amount of light, even indoors. Monitoring the pH levels of your water is important too. Plants thrive in a specific pH range, and keeping it balanced ensures they absorb nutrients efficiently. The results? Fresh, delicious produce that you can harvest right from your own home. Hydroponics offers a sustainable and efficient way to grow food, no matter where you live. So, whether you're a seasoned gardener or a complete beginner, hydroponics opens up a world of possibilities. It's a fun, rewarding way to grow your own food and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're inspired to try hydroponics and see the amazing results for yourself. Until next time, happy gardening. So, why would anyone want to ditch the dirt and go hydro? Well, let me tell you, there are some serious perks to this whole hydroponics thing. First off, you can kiss those pesky weeds goodbye. No soil means no weeds to pull, leaving you more time to enjoy the fruits or veggies of your labor. But wait, there's more. Hydroponics can save you a ton of water. That's right, these systems use significantly less water than traditional gardening methods. Plus, you can set up a hydroponic garden pretty much anywhere, indoors, outdoors, you name it. It's perfect for folks with limited space or those who want to grow year-round, even in the dead of winter. Now, let's get down to the nitty-gritty of how hydroponics actually works. Hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil by using mineral nutrient solutions in an aqueous solvent. This innovative technique allows for precise control over the nutrients that plants receive, leading to faster growth and higher yields compared to traditional soil-based methods. Remember those nutrients we talked about? They are absolutely crucial in this system. In hydroponics, the nutrient solution is the lifeline of the plants. It contains a mix of essential minerals and elements like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, and trace elements that plants need to thrive. Well, they're the key players here. Without the right balance of nutrients, plants can suffer from deficiencies or toxicities, which can stunt their growth or even kill them. That's why it's important to regularly monitor and adjust the nutrient solution to ensure optimal plant health. In a hydroponic system, plants get all the essential nutrients they need from a specially formulated nutrient solution that's mixed with water. This solution is carefully balanced to provide the perfect environment for plant growth, ensuring that they receive everything they need to flourish. But it's not just about the food. Plants also need a stable environment to grow. This includes maintaining the right pH levels, temperature, and humidity. Each of these factors plays a critical role in the overall health and productivity of the plants. Plants also need oxygen to breathe, especially their roots. In a hydroponic system, the roots are submerged in water which can limit their access to oxygen. That's why aeration is so important. That's where aeration comes in. By using air pumps or other methods to introduce oxygen into the water, we can ensure that the roots have access to the oxygen they need to stay healthy and grow. Hydroponic systems use air pumps or other methods to keep the water oxygenated, ensuring those roots stay happy and healthy. This is crucial because oxygen-deprived roots can lead to poor plant growth and even root rot. And of course, we can't forget about light. 
Light is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy to fuel their growth. Just like in traditional gardening, plants need a good source of light to photosynthesize and grow. In a hydroponic setup, this can be achieved through natural sunlight or artificial grow lights, depending on the environment and the specific needs of the plants. This can be natural sunlight or artificial grow lights depending on your setup. Grow lights come in various types, including fluorescent, LED and high-intensity discharge HID lights, each with its own advantages and disadvantages. Choosing the right type of light is crucial for the success of your hydroponic garden. Now, there are a bunch of different hydroponic systems out there, each with its own quirks and benefits. Some popular ones include deep water culture, DWC, nutrient film technique, NFT, and drip systems. Don't let the fancy names scare you though, they're all just different ways of delivering that nutrient-rich water to your plants. Think of it like choosing the right tool for the job. DWC is like a big swimming pool for your plant's roots, while NFT is more like a water slide where a thin film of nutrients constantly flows over the roots. Drip systems, as the name suggests, deliver water and nutrients directly to the base of each plant, kind of like a slow and steady drip irrigation system. Section 5 Deep Water Culture, A Beginner's Paradise For folks just starting out with hydroponics, I always recommend giving deep water culture or DWC a try. It's one of the simplest and most forgiving systems out there, perfect for beginners. Plus, it's super effective. Here's the gist. You've got a container filled with your nutrient solution, an air pump to keep the water oxygenated, and a net pot to hold your plant. The plant's roots hang down into the water, getting a constant supply of everything they need to thrive. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet for your plants. And trust me, they'll love it. Section 6. Beyond the Basics. Exploring other systems. Now once you've got the hang of DWC, you can start exploring other hydroponic systems. NFT, for example, is great for growing leafy greens and herbs because it provides excellent oxygenation to the roots. Drip systems are super versatile and can be used for a wide variety of plants, from tomatoes to strawberries. And then there's aeroponics, the most high-tech of them all. In an aeroponic system, the plant's roots are suspended in the air and misted with nutrient solution, it's like something out of a sci-fi movie. Section 7 Green Thumb Guide Easy Hydroponic Plants Ready to get your hands wet, or should I say slightly damp? Here are a few easy-to-grow plants that are perfect for hydroponic beginners. Lettuce, spinach, herbs like basil and mint, and even strawberries. These plants are pretty low-maintenance and tend to thrive in hydroponic systems. As you gain more experience, you can start experimenting with other types of plants like tomatoes, peppers, and even cucumbers. The sky's the limit. Section 8. Maintaining your hydroponic haven. Now just like any other garden, your hydroponic system needs a little TLC to keep those plants happy and healthy. Regular maintenance is key to ensuring that your plants thrive and produce the best yields possible. Without proper care, even the most advanced hydroponic systems can run into issues that could stunt plant growth or even kill your plants. Here are a few essential maintenance tips that will help you keep your hydroponic garden in top shape. These tips are simple yet effective and they can make a big difference in the health and productivity of your plants. First and foremost, keep an eye on the pH levels of your nutrient solution. The pH level is crucial because it affects how well your plants can absorb nutrients. If the pH is too high or too low, your plants might not get the nutrients they need even if those nutrients are present in the solution. The pH level of your nutrient solution is crucial for nutrient absorption. Ideally, you want to keep the pH level between 5.5 and 6.5 comma, as this range is optimal for most hydroponic plants. Regularly checking and adjusting the pH can prevent nutrient lockout and ensure your plants are getting what they need. You can use a simple pH meter to make sure it stays within the optimal range. Next, let's talk about nutrient top-up. Over time, your plants will use up the nutrients in the solution, and if you don't replenish them, your plants will start to suffer. Over time, your plants will use up the nutrients in the solution. It's important to regularly check the nutrient levels and top them up as needed. This will ensure that your plants have a constant supply of the essential nutrients they need to grow and thrive. You'll need to replenish those nutrients regularly to keep them well fed. Another critical aspect of hydroponic gardening is lighting. Light is essential for photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light into energy. 
make sure your plants are getting enough light, whether it's natural sunlight or artificial grow lights. Depending on the type of plants you're growing and your specific setup, you might need to supplement natural light with artificial grow lights to ensure your plants get the right amount and spectrum of light. Algae and bacteria can build up in your hydroponic system, so it's important to clean it regularly to prevent any issues. Regular cleaning helps to prevent the buildup of harmful pathogens that can cause diseases and affect plant health. Make sure to clean all parts of your system, including the reservoir, tubing, and grow trays, to keep your hydroponic garden running smoothly. Additionally, inspect the roots of your plants regularly. Healthy roots are white or light tan and have a fresh smell. If you notice any discoloration or foul odor, it could be a sign of root rot or other issues that need to be addressed promptly. Proper water circulation is also vital. Ensure that your water pump is functioning correctly and that water is flowing smoothly throughout the system. Stagnant water can lead to a lack of oxygen for the roots and create an environment where harmful bacteria can thrive. Lastly, monitor the temperature and humidity levels in your hydroponic garden. Most plants prefer a temperature range of 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity levels between 40 to 60 percent. Keeping these factors in check will help create an optimal growing environment for your plants. By following these maintenance tips, you can ensure that your hydroponic garden remains a thriving haven for your plants. Regular care and attention will lead to healthier plants and better yields, making your hydroponic gardening experience both rewarding and enjoyable. Section 9. Take the plunge, embrace hydroponic gardening. So there you have it folks. Hydroponics might sound intimidating at first, but it's a fun and rewarding way to grow your own food. It's all about giving your plants the perfect environment to thrive, and trust me, they'll thank you for it with an abundance of deliciousness. So why not give it a try? You might just be surprised at what you can grow, 